On this video, we're gonna do a year in review. So if you wanna know updates on all the projects and items that I've reviewed this year, keep watching. Merry Christmas! I hope everybody is going to have a beautiful Christmas. It's just a little over two weeks away from today. I wanted to bring this video and kind of give you a, like a year in review where I just kind of give all my thoughts and everything for all the products that I've reviewed and maybe some projects and stuff that I've done that I just wanted to update you with. There was a lot of products that I have reviewed this year. Thanks to my Two Cent Tuesday that I made a goal last year for this year to do my Two Cent Tuesday and do it every Tuesday and I did it every Tuesday. Well, up until now. This is gonna be the last video of this year. I really need a break from making two videos a week. I have done that this whole year and kind of getting not really burned out, but being here at the holidays, trying to decorate for Christmas, trying to wrap gifts, is just a little overwhelming and I just need a break. I'm thinking about four weeks, so it'll be a little bit into January. Once that's done, I already have products that I'm working on for my Two Cent Tuesdays because y'all have loved, loved my Two Cent Tuesdays. And I'm so glad that y'all have enjoyed those. Those actually have done better than our regular videos on Friday most of the time. We did have one video this year that went completely viral. It was Crab Island. I have gotten like 20,000 views on that video and it is still going strong. It's averaging about 200 a day views on that video. And thank you all for enjoying and watching that video. Also, I wanna thank everyone for clicking that link in the description box to our affiliate links because that helps me make more videos so I can buy more products, so that I can review more products, so that I can share that with y'all. Cause this, this can get expensive <laughs> buying products every week. Bill, um, the Amazon boxes are a little, um, it's a little, it's a little much. He, uh, my daughter-in-law walked in the house the other day and go, uh, you have a problem. And I agree, I do. Because I wanted to find new products for you. Now, I have pretty much done a little video about each one of these that I wanted to kind of update you with, but I have some that I did not get to do the videos. So I was just gonna tell y'all about those real quick. One, the skis. Well, we haven't been skiing again, except when I bought them. And we're probably not gonna go skiing this year, just because everything has gotten so expensive at all the ski resorts. And I just don't know that we wanna spend that this year. So it may be next year before I get to use the skis. Travel cubes, still loving those, been using them. We just, uh, I just went to Atlanta to the market and absolutely loved having my travel cubes. It just compacts everything back down. We love our Rio Link and we've been using that. We are still using that for the dogs, but on the mattress, ended up, it ended up being too firm and I didn't like that, but I did get a thick foam pad and a mattress topper and put on top of it. And now we love the mattress. And changing that out to a king size bed has been life changing. It is awesome having that king size mattress instead of the queen. It is a little more pain to make up and everything, but for that little pain and to have beautiful eight hours of sleep, it is well worth it. The bathroom remodel and the organization I've done in there, it is still working great. I love having all the hooks that we can hang up towels or different things that we need to in the bathroom. It just gives you so much hanging space. Now the valances in the RV, I love my valances and I think they're so pretty, but the curtains, as you know, there was a catastrophe with one of them and they're still kind of a yellow color. I even took 
a marker and tried to add to them, which it did, but I'm not loving the curtains with the valances. I love my valances and I loved my curtains, but the two together, I don't like them. So we're gonna be doing a video sometime next year. I'm gonna end up doing something different on the curtains and I have some ideas. The post lights out by our pool, those are so cool. They have been holding up great and they were a great way to update that space. Fireplace in the RV. Oh, oh, I hope it doesn't mess up, but it is still working since we took it apart and put it back together. Fingers crossed. Now, I did reach out to Grand Design and they were super nice trying to help us out because I was thinking maybe they might would replace it. Then they ended up sending me over to Furion and Furion's like, nope, nothing. Guess you're just gonna have to order a new fireplace. But for right now, it's been working. And so we're just trying to get it through to maybe next year or hey, whoever knows how much longer. I did want to talk about the nano tape. This was the very first thing that I put up with it and I used big long strips because I thought more was better. More is not better. I ended up, ended up pulling some of the wallpaper off because it was too long of a strip. I have taken these other ones on and off and not had a problem at all, but this one did pull it off. So I did want to warn you that the nano tape can do that. And I had saw where command strips had done it for other people. I haven't had that problem. So I did want to kind of update you and let you know that the nano tape, I did have a problem with it, but I'm still going to use it. And I'm just going to use it in smaller pieces. Don't use big pieces. I'm still a fan of using the museum putty to hold things down in your RV as well. And yes, I'm still using my fuel rewards. I've saved $350 and uh, I have 80 cents a gallon today. And now, thanks to my video and y'all getting me to do stuff, I use Angel Soft in my house and my camper. I still love these vitamins and uh, they are so easy to work with. I had forgotten to take them several times, like here and there. I'm just not really good at taking medicine because this is the only thing that I really take. It'd been off a couple of weeks over the past year. So I just messaged them and told them, could they delay my shipment two weeks? And they did. No questions asked. Still loving my care of. I absolutely still love my rocking wood here in the camper. I absolutely love my rocking wood behind my TV still. Isn't that beautiful? I love this stuff. I'm still loving my bedroom. I think it looks great. The only thing, and I would still do it again, is these blinds. I guess because I raised the bed in here, the blinds don't cover the window real big. And Bill is a restless sleeper. And uh, well, he fights with the blind. I just, mine gets tucked up under the mattress over there and it doesn't bother me, but Bill keeps like grabbing the blind in the middle of the night, but I would do it again. And obviously you can see, I still haven't flipped the bracket around, need to do that. But I, when I ordered these, I measured these the exact size that were already here. And because those had the actual cord that held them against the wall, I think what I would have done was order these at two inches, maybe four inches bigger than what I ordered. Just because you can kind of see through them a little bit. So maybe you can learn from my mistake. And yes, I still love my shampoo and conditioner. Oh, and I'm still loving my coffee pot too. This thing is still great. Yes, I still love Ipsy. I enjoy getting them every other month. And yes, even in the winter, still doing my liquid IV. I still drink two or three of these a day to stay hydrated. I still love my OnCloud for hiking. These have been the best hiking boots or shoes that I've ever had. Bonus tip, if you don't have them for your everyday tennis shoes, uh, you need to get some. These are the best. Pool cover is holding up great. Can't wait to uncover it this spring and uh, see how it looks up underneath it. Burr.
it's cold. Ah, might need to blow some leaves too. Love my kasori. Kinda like to buy a new one so I can take my ninja to the camper and leave my kasori here and have two of them. Yeah, I need to order a new one. And food saver, still love buying in bulk and sealing everything up and keeping it good and fresh with my sealer. Love my off spray backpack. I kind of wish I had a little smaller one for some of the day hikes because this one, while it is great, it is a little bit big for day hikes that I do. The Dawn Power Wash, while I absolutely love this stuff, I find myself using it more on other stuff rather than dishes. I use it like in the shower and I use it around the toilet base and I kind of find myself using it everywhere but dishes. And that probably is because here at home, I put everything in the dishwasher. But I do use it on my dishes when we are camping. While I still enjoy my steam shot, I find myself forgetting to get it out and use it a lot. So I really think this thing is basically on the days that I'm going to super deep clean, I get it out and use it. But for everyday use, I don't use it as much as I thought. For sure, still using my ice maker because the ice maker in our refrigerator went out. So this is the only ice that we have right now. And our Starlink, yes, still love it. Have absolutely cut complete ties with AT&T and we only use the Starlink now. And from what I understand, there's a lot of people waiting to get theirs. We are lucky and fortunate we got ours when we did. On the sheets, it's winter time. So right now I have my flannel sheets on, but yes, I still love my other sheets as well. The only thing that I can say is there is a few little places that it started picking, not really picking, peeling. I, I think that's what it's called, <laughs> the little fuzzies. <laughs> it's not that horrible, but I did want to say that they did start doing that. And I am still using my Fetch Reward app. Love that. And we still use our coffee cups. And it keeps our coffee warm. Still loving my water bottle. The only thing is once summer hit, it did start sweating. And so I had to get this cute little cover for it. But I still love my water bottle. And yes, I still use my smart plugs. Perfect for the Christmas time when you want to turn your lights on and off. Yes, I'm still using my silicone storage containers. Also, I still use my Ziploc silicone bags. And yes, we still have the Layla pillows and that I loved them so much, I bought a set for here and the camper. Now, the only thing that I can say different is I do love this pillowcase that's on them, but they don't wash really good. So since we typically here in the camper, I don't have to wash them as much because we don't sleep on them every night. I've left the pillowcases in here and eventually I probably will put a pillowcase on these, but for the ones at the house, I have put a pillowcase on them. But that's the only difference. Still love my Layla pillows. Totally still loving this shelf. I just wish I had one on my side of the bed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Till next time, like and subscribe.